Cool. Now, you are, you're pretty much an honorary maritimer at this point. Uh, you've worked with Plaskett and, and the Trues, of course. Are you going to be working with anybody else? I'm hearing uh, things about working with the Novaks, maybe, getting something along with yeah, that. Yeah, I've been a Novaks fan for years. Those guys are great from Newfoundland, yeah. Yeah, they, they toured with Grady when we first came out, and some of our first Canadian tours we played with them. And I was already a huge fan of their, their first record. And, um, they had been sending me demos the last couple of years, and they haven't put out a record in quite a while. So Yeah, that debut was great, really yeah. They were really trying to, you know, boot their ass into uh, into action, and it's a lot. You know, they're starting to get a really good team of people behind them now. So uh, we'd like to see that become a reality over the summer. Let's get a new Novax record because I've been walking around this with this CD of Novax demos that I think is it's just my favorite album ever. Oh wait a minute, it's not an album, and I'm the only one that knows this. Yeah, you know, I'm walking around like as if the whole world knows these, these little songs, two these minute songs. songs yeah like really stones good. tom petty i just yeah yeah they've actually he heavied it up something kind of starting to sound more like early kiss or something Ooh, but like really really good nice cool songs like if you love rock and roll man the novaks would get it done for you cool so good. we'll uh watch for that uh you tell us about the grady live experience you guys uh it, it, it's the big sugar were loud as hell every time i saw you you guys still crank it up pretty good yeah, yeah grady's we've actually heavied it up some you know we get a lot of kind of metal descriptives thrown at us because it is quite a bit heavier it's really dark the, t the guitars are tuned really deep everybody wears black you know it's <laughs> it's kind of it's a little bit uh sinister that way but I mean, just because we play like old school metal and but wear Wranglers and cowboy hats, there, there's nothing <laughs> weird about that. Where no. we live, everybody, no. you know, you'd see the same people at uh, Merle Haggard concert as you would at the Slayer concert <laughs> in Austin, Texas. Do you ever go to the Roller Derby in uh, in Austin? Oh yeah, man, we yeah. played we played at the Roller Derby quite a bit. Yeah. We had some of those Roller Queens were in our first video and stuff too. So, yeah, is there weekend. one weekend I'd miss like that? They weren't. It wasn't there that weekend, but it's hot, and you just sit there and drink beer and watch roller derby. Yeah, girls beating the crap out of each other on on roller skates while rock and roll bands play, and motorcycles are revving up in the arena, and smells of gasoline and popcorn and tacos and the weekend of my girls, place. Yeah, yeah the <laughs> sweaty girls pounding each other on the ring. Yeah, it's great. What's the object of the game, anyway? I don't, I've I never I been able to understand it. that. I, I mean, I they, they, they grab them and they push each other forward and stuff, and <laughs> elbows and stuff, and it's, it, you know, it's the James Conn movie. I, that's, that's all I never know who who wins, but yeah. it's, it's still just great. So. I think everybody wins by your description. That's great. <laughs> it's win-win. <laughs> you feel like playing another one here? Do you feel like oh, the last yeah, one? Oh, yeah, it requires I, some, uh, whoa, wait, wait, hang on a sec. i got to do some tuning up, though. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. Oh jeez, here we go. I thought, we were, thought you were just gonna. Yeah, why not? If you're you're here. You got it out there. You might as well uh, bang yeah. off another one. Okay, maintain continuity for ten seconds. I gotta grab something out of my guitar case. Good. Go ahead. Go, go. Well, you know, I'm gonna look at the. Uh, I'm gonna uh, uh, check uh, the Q10 forecast here while we have a second. 420 and the uh, Q10 forecast here. Nice and sunny today, but we're looking at a bit of rain coming tonight. So if you have a. Uh, I was going to say, if you just have a fresh bouffant hairdo that you got just especially for the, the Grady show tonight, you may want to cover it up somewhat. 15 millimeters of rain coming, uh, some fog patches, a low near 6. We have periods of rain or drizzle, kind of tapering off to a few showers tomorrow afternoon. Another 5, 10 millimeters coming. Still going to be mild right up around 11 for a high. Then the sun and cloud, things return to, uh, to nice on Saturday. Sun and cloud and a high near 14. Right now, uh, we're sitting at 15, and the Q10 forecast is brought to you by Fraser Way RV in Bedford. They've got your RV over 200 to choose from. So uh, once again, we have Grady in town tonight. Gordy Johnson is back. Uh, going to be uh, going to be a loud evening down at the Marquee Club. What time are you getting on? You think is this going to be uh, a late one? Or? There's a lot of music going on at the Marquee tonight. I believe um, Matty Powell is playing before us. The Reels. There's a hip hop show downstairs. It's Music Central tonight at the Marquee. I'm, I'm going to try to get there early and hear some... some the Fun music. Factory, yeah. yeah this is man. just uh, incredible. We'll go on. The Grady's will go on about midnight. Okay, cool. What are you, uh, you going to play for us? Alright, I'll play another song from uh, the new record. This is called The Three-Legged Race. Gordy Johnson, on the queue. And this is what can happen to you if you misbehave at a Sunday picnic. Uh oh oh
beef must sure to be the sweetest peach. What's a hungry man to do? Poison is the latest CD, and uh, ShadyGrady.net is the uh, the website too. Welcome back to Halifax. Good to be back. All right, man. We'll see you tonight. Yes, you. Hey, I'm Gordy Johnson and Grady, and you're watching Q2.